Hey there! In this series of videos, I'm going to teach you tips and techniques to create fabulous cities in City Skyline. Just so you know, this video series is intended for medium to advanced players, as I'm not going to explain the basic features and tools of the game. So, let's get started! We're going to start by addressing the first uh, problem that people who play this game uh, tend to face uh, at the very beginning of a new map. Usually, uh, the way people start most cities is based on the uh, freeway connections that they are provided and try to create the base layout off of those initial uh, roads. Which is a valid, is a valid uh, way of doing it, but uh, I have a different technique that it's uh, a slightly more precise and uh, more, more symmetric. So, what we're going to do is create a diagonal from one corner of the tile set and this, unfortunately, this, there's no snapping here, so we need to basically eyeball it. Uh, and we're going to drag it all the way to the other side, like so. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, it has to be uh, perfect enough, I guess. Uh, and we're going to do the same on the other side. We're going to delete this uh, stretch of road because when we're coming this way to that way, we don't want it to snap. And uh, if, it, if it does uh, indeed snap, it, the, the angle might not uh, be carried over. So you'll see in a minute what, I'm, what I mean. Uh, so I'm going to click on the corner, drag all the way to the other side of the map. Again, try to eyeball it a little bit so that it matches. That seems to be okay. And now we have our, our uh, secondary line, which means that if we connect this to this and this to this, we have the perfect center point, or at least a very accurate center point to begin the creation of our city. So now that we located the middle of the map, or at least a very approximate uh, point, uh, we're going to start creating the adjacent roads and start forming some city blocks. Uh, the way we're going to do that is by following the in-game guides that will help us get the most uh, uh, density in between the different roads for later zoning. So just by following the guides like this, we get uh, almost uh, four perfect blocks. In some cases, you might notice that there's some uh, small gaps here and there. That means uh, the roads are not exactly 100% aligned. However, if you play uh, enough time with it, you can get up there and, and zone the entire uh, area without any problems. Having four city blocks is fine, but if you're going to create a massive city, we're going to need a lot more. So I'm going to teach you a technique of extending this uh, perfect grid uh, many times over at a really fast pace. We're going to create a new road, just use the guides for snapping, and instead of coming back right here, we're going to go one extra level, connect it to the main road, all the way to the other side, like so. As you can see, you can easily create multiple layouts this way, and it just takes literally seconds. So now that we expanded it quite a bit, we can just uh, connect it back to the last piece of road. And all that's left to do is connect the inner pieces. So we're going to do the following. Just connect all of the inner roads. And just like that, we finish completing the grid. Now we have a perfectly centered grid, or almost perfectly centered grid, uh, with many, many places to zone, uh, maximum space and efficiency for zoning, but, uh, you know, grids are kind of boring. You don't want all grids in your, in your cities. Grids uh, are the easiest of the road techniques, and since, since this is a design-oriented uh, uh, sort of tutorial, I'm going to teach you a, a few ways so you can improve the design of, uh, of this grid. So we're going to begin by um, changing some of these uh, inner roads, in particular the primary roads, uh, converting them to trees, just uh, so that it's easier to see what we're dealing with. I want to visually separate the primary roads to the uh, secondary roads. Now that we have uh, this uh, very identifiable primary and secondary roads, I'm going to start deleting different chunks of the secondary roads in, uh, in no particular uh, order, just uh, randomly deleting some of these uh, four-way intersections and converting them into three-way intersections. 
And by deleting the last piece, we turned the perfect grid that we had a moment ago into slightly more dynamic, more random uh, city layout that it's already looking much, much better. However, we're going to take this uh, to the next level. Let's talk about curves for a little bit. In this case, we can really, we can't really continue uh, working, extending these roads into the water. I mean, we could if we did a bridge, but uh, the city ends here and we haven't acquired the next city plot. So we're going to start by clearing these two segments of road and then connecting them with a the curve. The way we do that is by clicking on at the end of the first segment, aligning the dotted line to the first guide, clicking again and finally clicking back on the next segment that we want and uh, getting a perfect uh, curve on this corner. Let's try the same on this one. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward and uh, really fast, especially when, when you already have a basic uh, layout that it's basically completely symmetric. And finally, last two tips. Last two, uh, not two, just the last tip. And as you can see, our layout it's looking much much nicer now so what's next you might be wondering well since we're working with circles why not uh, why not work on a roundabout let's start by uh, maybe putting a roundabout in the middle and uh, what we're gonna need to do is basically clear some of these roads like so in fact we might need to be able uh, we might need to clear the adjacent ones as well and you'll see in a minute why and now that we have our uh, perfectly uh, distant, equidistant uh, center roads, we can start creating our circles. We're going to use one-way roads in this example, just because uh, it's more, it will be more efficient for the traffic to be flowing in one direction. Uh, by selecting the one-way road, we're going to end, end the curve. Yeah, we have the curve. Perfect. We're going to do basically the same we did, the same thing we did in our previous example. Extend the road uh, to the dotted line to the first guide clicking there and then connecting connecting it back to the main road on the right doing the same thing over here same thing over here and the same thing over here and now we have a perfect uh, perfect uh, roundabout that's one way remember to get the lanes going to the left if unless I don't know if the game supports left driving as it as it happens in Britain and other countries uh, but uh, you just want to keep the right away uh, so the, the traffic flows into the same direction and now I was thinking of introducing a new design element into this uh, semi-perfect grid that we have I'm talking about diagonals Based uh, on the current grid that we have, I think it would be a good idea to start uh, getting some diagonals that converge uh, into the main uh, roundabout. The way we're going to do that is simply by using part of the grid, the parts of the grid that we already have, as they're going to be perfect 45 degree angles. So by clicking here and clicking over there with the snap tool, uh, the toggle snapping uh, on, we can get a perfectly straight uh, diagonal. We can do the same over here and uh, all the way to the middle roundabout. Do the same over here. You notice that I'm using, I'm, I'm doing this segment first simply because I have the two points here because uh, otherwise if I start over here, it's not as perfect. Uh, I'd rather start over here and then use this as a straight, uh, as a straight uh, road connecting into the middle, uh, the middle roundabout. So that's it for this part. In the next few videos, I will be teaching other layout and decoration techniques. The goal of this series is to help you make your cities look breathtaking. So if you enjoyed so far, please do share with friends and subscribe to be notified of future parts. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash strictoaster, and on Twitch, where I usually stream, twitch.tv slash strictoaster. Having said that, I want to thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Have an awesome day.